Hello, my name is Tim Smith, and I'm at Osborne Wood Products. I'm a part of the production team here. I'm Hayden Smith. I work at Osborne Wood Products in the front office doing the drafting. What we're going to be doing today is putting together a table with one of our sets that includes a slide, uh, the apron, four legs that we turned right here in our shop. Um, Tim, can you tell us a little bit about what's so great about Osborne's table set? Hayden, I love these, and, and I tell you, when you use the table slides, you're getting so much versatility. Um, really, let me take this apart here. Yeah. What we've got really is two tables in one, Hayden. Okay. Slide it together, you've got something small, compact, in virtually any situation. Yeah. Put all your leaves in there, and you're ready for you know entertaining guests, uh, the extended family, what have you. Nice. Yeah. What we've done here is uh, we've built a table that is three foot wide, and with our slides completely together, we've got just a three foot length. Okay. Okay. Let's open this up and see what it is right. once we get it. Okay, what we have here is 26 inches. Okay. That allows us to put two one foot leaves into this table, easily get them in and out, okay? Gives us an overall length of five foot, okay? okay. It, this is critical. As the consumer, you have to know what your minimum size is going to be and sure. what your maximum size needs to be. One of the most critical measurements when you're determining what size slide to use is the measurement between the inside of the skirts here. What Tim's going to do now is measure that distance because that tells us how long your slide can be when the table's closed. I want you to notice that we have a left and a right side on these uh, slides here. And um, what I've done, I've already attached the, uh, the right side. I want to be sure that my left and my right slide are parallel with each other. And so, as I lay my left side on here, I'm going to spread the slide just a little bit from the fully closed position. And um, what you can do is actually even use a, uh, like a piece of Luon or something like that just to uh, make sure that these two are, are running parallel. I've got some lines drawn on my table that I'm using for the same purpose. When we're installing the slides on a table, we want to make sure that the screws are long enough to go through the slide, but short enough not to go through the tabletop so it doesn't poke out the top. Okay, Tim, so we've installed the, uh, the slide on the table. It looks really good, but how do we know it's installed correctly? When everything is as it should be, this should be a really smooth, easy slide. Um, there shouldn't be any resistance at all. Um, you know, as, as we come together, our uh, our alignment pins are going to slip right into their sockets. You know, if there's any kind of binding or anything like that, you should probably go back and, and just double check everything. Okay. But uh, yeah, your alignment pins should just mm -hmm. go right together. Yeah. Great. To view our entire line of table slides, click on the table slides link to the left. 